Well, now to a Christmas dud. Parents say the Hatchimals they bought their children will not hatch. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is in Salamanca tonight. It was the season's hottest toy. <coughs> Thousands waited in line for a crack at a Hatchimal. <coughs> but some who received one under the tree <coughs> are still waiting. <coughs> and waiting. It's sick. <coughs> uh -oh. <coughs> and still waiting for their Hatchimal. Mommy, I want it to hurt. I know you do, baby. To break free of its shell. This is the part where you're supposed to interact with it for 20 minutes to get it to the hatching process. Brittany Baker is one of those moms frustrated with the plastic egg. She bought it for her daughter for Christmas, and despite hours of effort, it still isn't working, even though it's only supposed to take 20 to 45 minutes to hatch. It went to the part where its eyes, light, they flash white, and that's supposed to be when it's hatching and it kind of you heard a motor sound but nothing was actually happening and the baker family has done this four times with the hatchimal but they can't get past this step we tried and we tried and we would let it you can set it down and let it go to sleep and try again um i had read a comment online where someone said that if you vigorously like spun it it would do it and that's how i got it to peck these two little holes she spent more than 10 hours on the phone with hatchimal customer service and after being disconnected multiple times finally Finally got through to a live person. It was just a really frustrating process. Baker isn't the only parent stuck with the Hatchimal headache. Thousands across the nation are experiencing the same issues. Hatchimal's parent company, Spin Master, released a statement on its Facebook with a video to help parents. It just kind of chooses when it wants to randomly come to life. But Baker has done all the company has said to do, and hers still isn't working. When she did get through to customer service, they said they'll send a new one, but to her, this toy is still a bust. I think that there there should have been more of a kind of a quality care process. I just, I don't know how many of these things they had to have tested that were defective. They, it seems like they should have known that this was going to happen. Reporting in Salamanca, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Beautiful.